so it is good to know that VMware Pro is now free of charge. Did I hear you right? Oh, yes, I said it. It's now free of charge. So, uh, but then you don't download it on vmworld.com. You download it because if you click here, this is kind of like what you see. And uh, let's go down here and click download and watch. You get this message from Remember, once again, you don't, they don't allow you to download it directly, uh, directly from VMware.com. Instead, when you click on it, it redirects you to log in to um, Broadcom because VMware has been bought by Broadcom. So here we are on Broadcom. I'm just going to say login. Of course, I have this one here but i'm going to close it so now it's uh okay so finally we've been logged in and uh, so you can see the url once you're logged in the url is support.broadcom dot com slash web slash ecx and slash home and here, this is where you should pay attention because I discovered that uh, when you don't do this, you just keep going around this uh, website trying to look for the right link, okay? Uh, it's not easy. I don't know why they have to make it this difficult, okay? This is the most ridiculous um, way of, I mean, getting a software that I've seen over the years. And uh, so here you see, click it what you want to do is click on vmware uh, cloud foundation click on that and it brings you to this window right here so what you expected to do is to search for um v sorry vmware workstation pro now, once you've searched, you're going to see, all uh, right. So here we have this one here. Uh, let's click on this. Okay, so we are scrolling down, 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 down until we see this link. So you see this link, just click uh, on here. This other one is documentation. Uh, let's just click on this one here. You can see version 17.5.2 right there. Okay, so here we have um, VMware Workstation Pro 17 for Windows. Do not down, I mean, click on this one because it's not going to help you. Okay, yeah, don't, don't try to play with these guys okay so you have other versions of vmware pro here but then again you have vmware pro 17 for personal use uh, for windows if you're using linux uh you can you you have it here so just go right ahead and click on personal use and then you see it here, uh, all the versions you have from 17.5.2 to 17.5.1 down to 17.5, uh, 17.02 17 and so on and so forth. Uh, okay, so now we, you want to download the latest one, which is the first option here. Click on that. And you can see it's loading. Uh, right there okay so now what you want to do is to come down here and click on this here now mind you sometimes you have to check uh this sometimes it is check for some people if you're doing this for the first time you have to check there's a box here where you check and then you this is highlighted if not 
Uh, so you just come here and click on download and you have VMware Workstation Pro for free, absolutely free. Now I've downloaded mine, let's run it and see. Okay, so this is mine, I've, I mean, so this is mine, you just run it once you've downloaded it. I and just click on next here, accept, next. Uh, let's just click on next, leave everything as it is, next and next. Now on install. Okay, so now you just click on finish. All right, so uh, let's launch uh, VMware. You can see it has uh, automatically installed uh, VMware Workstation 17 and let's just launch the uh, Pro. All uh, right. And here we go, we have VMware Pro, uh, Workstation Pro, and um, of course, you can go right ahead and do all of, I mean, install all of your uh, OS in there and start using, okay? So that is how you download and install what, I mean, that is how you download and install uh, VMware Workstation Pro for absolutely free. I repeat, absolutely for free. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to, I mean, appreciate the efforts and uh, see you next time in another video. Bye-bye.